Hello, you're tuned in to the Osteopathy and Healing Center. This is Angelica Sagath. Thank you for joining. We're going to be talking about how to adjust or manipulate the kidney today. And we've already done this before with Margaret, and she had wonderful results where she then felt the neuralgia in her leg go away. So first thing you want to do is make sure that the patient has their knee bent, and that's so that the belly is relaxed. You're going to take one hand and put it behind the back. So I'm going to just come underneath, thank you. The other hand is on the belly. I like to use this part of my hand because you're actually trying to lift the kidney up if it's gone down. Okay? Sorry. And then you can ask the patient to take deep breaths in and out. When they breathe out, you sink into the belly a little bit more. Now the kidney is retroperineal, so that means it's one of the organs that are uh, deep within the stomach. So you're going to have to go very gently, slowly, with the patient's breathing deeper and deeper. Eventually, you're going to feel the palm of your hand or hyperthermal eminence hit the kidney. I'm almost there. And if it's uncomfortable to the patient, again, you just go a little bit slower. Okay, there I am. So now what am I going to do? I'm going to check if it's gone down. So I'm just going to shift my hand up. Okay. Now that's pretty good. We've worked on Margaret's kidney before. It's slightly, like I'd say, first degree. So you can have first degree, second degree, third degree ptosis of the kidney. Here we're looking at first degree. So in order for me to get some help from the patient, I'm going to ask for assistance with her pushing her leg or her knee into my shoulder as she holds her breath in. So take a breath in, Margaret. Hold the breath as you push gently into my shoulder. When you can't breathe, breathe out, relax the belly. So I don't know if you just saw that, but she gave me a lot of give there, so I pushed up a little bit more. And you hold that, and you go again. Take a breath in, Margaret. Hold the breath as you push. When they breathe out, again, you go a little bit a little bit more up, as much give as you get, uh, that you gain, you keep going, you keep going, and then I stop there. The tissue's pushing back at me. And we'll go one more time. Hold the breath in as you push the knee gently into my shoulder. Very good. Okay, now, the kidney, you're going to check if it's moving the way it's supposed to, so the motility of the kidney. So I'm going to check. It feels good. Uh, so I'm just going to hang out here just for a little bit more as she takes a couple deep breaths in and out. So I'm going to have Margaret breathe in and out. You're going to feel... Uh, the kidney just go like right into like the pocket there. You're, you're going to feel like the sensation that it's in place. It's very notable. Okay. Now just to do a little stretch of the tissues, you can also have the patient straighten the knee now, slowly. I'm still holding. My pressure is still there. And again, take a couple breaths in and out. And deep breath in, and then we rebound. Okay, so the kidneys, when she breathes in and out, they move like this. Okay? Imagine these are the kidneys uh, with the patient inhaling and exhaling. So when I was on the kidney and I'm like, I'm checking for the motility, that's what I was checking for. Okay? So that wasn't too bad. That was the first degree. I'll go to the left and we'll check the left kidney. So I'll just have you come around. 
So again, bending patient's leg in order for the belly to be relaxed. I'm going underneath. I'll tell you why I go underneath. It was explained to me that you can use the bottom hand to actually draw the kidney up so you can feel it better with the hand that's on top palpating. Uh, I bring her knee onto my shoulder, relaxes the belly more. I bring my hand, so above belly button. I sink down as far as I can. Then I feel tissue is pushing back at me. So I stop. I respect that. And now I work with the patient. So take a breath in, hold the breath. Gently push down into my shoulder with your knee. And when the patient breathes out, you're going to sink in as much as the body lets you. Work with the body here. That's really good. So I feel I'm right underneath the kidney. Very different feeling here. You will feel if the kidney is in the correct position versus if it's gone down. So I'm on the kidney. If you could see my hand, it's going side to side lateral. It's okay. So I'm just checking for any restriction. It's okay. Uh, so that was rotation. We did side, and now we'll do flexion and extension. Now, I am exaggerating the movements, but when you are on the kidney, you put your attention there. Uh, my attention is on the kidney. Then I put my intention there, and the movement is slight. Now, that's with me using my hand. You can ask, ask the patient to take a deep breath in and out, respiration. And you can also feel for that movement. So as she takes a deep breath in and out, I'm seeing external rotation, yes, side bending, yes, and extension. As she breathes in, as she breathes out, I'm looking for the opposite, and it's doing it. So it's okay. And again, just to review, once um, you've worked on that kidney, you have the patient bring their leg down slowly. just to do a little stretch. And again, a couple deep breaths in and out. Now she's breathing in and out. I'm following the motility of the kidney. If it helps you, it helps me to close my eyes because then I'm more focused on what I'm feeling. And then we can do the rebound technique. So they take a deep breath in and you take your hand off very quickly. And then they breathe out. Okay, so that's about how to adjust the kidneys. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> okay, so that's about adjusting uh, the kidneys. So again, we had great success doing this technique on Margaret because then her neuralgia in, in the front of the thigh had decreased considerably. So try it and see if it works with your patients as well. Excuse me. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was you can't just treat the kidneys. In osteopathy, we also need to look at the segments that relate to the kidney. So that's going to be uh, T12, T11, T10. So T10 to T12. And what's interesting is you may find that side bending rotating to the side that there's a problem with the kidney. Okay, so if it was side bending rotating to the right, I'd start and go on to the right side um, of the abdomen to check the right kidney. Okay, of course, check both. Whole body's uh, dynamic unit function, check both. The other segments I'm going to say you want to check is T3 and T4. So a little bit higher up is fine because that also has to do with kidney control. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and leave me some comments as to what you would like to hear next time. Take care. Have a good day.